What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Junior from CR4200. You guys saw the title, so you know what we're gonna talk about today. The new kid on the block, the 6.8 Western. This is the 6.8 Western right here, and this is also another 6.8 Western cartridge right here. So right here we have the Winchester Copper Impact. And on the far right, we have Browning's 175 grain Long Pro Hunter. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. I'm gonna to try to keep this video short and sweet and to the point. So 1962, we had this, which is the seven millimeter rim mag. Uh, this cartridge came out uh, and the whole intention behind the seven mag and then its partner here, the 300 wind mag, uh, which was released by Winchester a year later. A seven millimeter Remington Magnum also, I mean, obviously made by Remington uh, the year prior, 1962 or it will both developed uh, for one sole purpose, which was to outperform the 30-06 Springfield. Um, both of these calibers succeeded in doing that. The parent case for both of these is the 375 H&H. &H, and then the parent case for the 6.8 Western is the 270 Wisdom. So let's talk a little bit about the 7 mag. So the 7 rim mag, uh, it was wildly, wildly popular. It's used all over the world. It's used to take down everything in North America, everything in Alaska. Uh, countless animals have been uh, taken down with the 7 mag, even in Africa, even their big dangerous game. 7 mag is a very, very good all around viable cartridge. Same with the 300 wind mag. The 300 wind mag has been used all over the world. Both of these are belted magnum cartridges, as you can see here. Um, and then you move over to the new kit on the block, which is the 6.8 Western. So the question that I, I'm here to let you guys think about and ponder, because there was a lot of people who were very against the 6.8 Western. They uh, just were very skeptical of it from the very beginning. 6.5 Creedmoor came out a few years ago, actually came out a long time ago. It got popular uh, a few years ago. Uh, used, people do use it for hunting, but its primary purpose was a long range target shooting. The 6.8 Western comes along, uh, and the whole goal from the very beginning was to give hunters something they could use to take down a big game, dangerous game, but also something that would outperform the 6.5 Creedmoor uh, downrange. And they were successful in doing both. So the 6.8 Western gets about 16% more energy at 500 yards than the 6.5 PRC, which is also wildly popular right now. And it gets about 65, 66 more percent more energy than your 6.5 Creedmoor downrange. So 6.8 Western far outperforms uh, both of those calibers. Uh, and it's on par with the 7 mag and the 300 wind mag, which is what we want to talk about today. So if I just told somebody, you know, right off the bat, hey, let's take the 6.8 Western out to go hunt, you know, elk, caribou, moose, uh, big game, uh, compared to the 7 mag and the 300 wind mag, Conventional wisdom would tell people that these two cartridges far exceed the 6.8 Western. The 6.8 Western just probably couldn't get it done. So before we go any further, I'll tell you guys uh, my holy grail, my top three for uh, taking down any game. So it's a triangle, and each leg of the triangle is, is important. If you don't have one leg of the triangle, then you're not going to take down the game. So the first is energy. You have to have enough energy to take down whatever you know, you're shooting at. Next is bullet weight and last is shot placement. So if you're missing any of those three, then you won't be successful. You, you may not be successful. You may have to put uh, follow-up shots or you may have to track an animal for an extended period, both things that you don't want to do. So if you have a, a bullet that has the, the great, a good enough weight and good enough energy, but you have bad shot placement, then you're in that position where you're tracking an animal or you potentially lose an animal. Conversely, you can have good shot placement and good bullet weight, but if you don't have enough energy, then you're also in the same boat. So like I said, you gotta have all three. You gotta have great energy down range. You gotta have good shot placement. And then lastly, you gotta have the proper bullet weight. So let's look at some of the numbers between the seven mag, the 300 wind mag, and the 6.8 Western and just see what they are. So right off the bat, when we talk about the seven millimeter rim mag, it is a 0.284 diameter bullet. Uh, the 300 wind mag is obviously this is a 30 caliber and then your 6.8 western is 0.277 so one of the other things about the 6.8 western is it's got really really high bc so the bc for the 6.8 western is 0.62 
the BC for the seven, seven mag is 0.616 and your 300 wind mag is lagging at 0.597. Now the 300 wind mag does have some advantages over the other two and that your 300 wind mag can typically shoot, you know, some heavier bullets up into, you know, the 220 grain weight. So next we'll talk about some of the energy that these get down range and some of the bullet drop and you can just compare them and then go down in the comments. I'd love to hear what you guys think. Um, my good buddy Hootie Hoo, if you go over to his channel, he's done some really, really good videos with the 7 mag and the 300 wind mag, some comparative videos. But if we just look at the numbers, so the muzzle velocity for the 7 millimeter rim mag, and this is 168 grain Acubon. The muzzle velocity for 7 mag is 2,900 feet per second. Uh, with the 190 grain Acubon, it's 2,900 feet per, I mean, feet per second, the muzzle velocity. And then for your 6.8 Western, if you're using that same bullet, it's 2970. So it's a little bit more muscle velocity for your 6.8 Western. Uh, and then if you go over uh, one more bullet to the long range, it is 2835 for the 6.8 Western. So all of those are really negligible. Uh, 2900 for your 7 mag and 300 wind mag, and then 2970 for your 6.8 Western. If you look at muzzle energy now, the muzzle energy for your 7 mag is 3137. <coughs> Foot pounds your 300 wind mag is about 400 more foot pounds right out of muzzle at 3547 and then your 6.8 western with this acubon is somewhere in between and it's sitting at 3226 so again conventional wisdom would have a lot of people think that the 7 mag has you know more velocity more energy out of the barrel uh or any distance than the 6.8 western but just looking at the numbers that didn't true the numbers tell us a different tale uh then if you, you go to a 200 yard zero with the 7 mag, you're getting 2525, 2525 foot pounds of energy. With the 300 wind mag, you're getting 2835. With your 6.8 western, you're getting 2605. So uh, you get more at 200 yards with the 6.8 western than you do over your 300 wind mag. Then when you go out to 500 yards, at 500 yards, your 7 mag has 1788 foot pounds of energy with 38 inches of drop. Your 300 wind mag has 1,983, so about 200 foot pounds more at 38 inches of drop, about the same. And then your 6.8 Western has 1,856, which is more than your 7 mag, uh, and only 36 inches of drop. So that's when you really, really start to see the 6.8 Western shine, is when you get to 500 yards and further. It, it clearly outperforms the 7 mag. And obviously at that point, we're not talking about hunting, but we're all talking about long range shooting. So a lot of guys do both. So if you're looking for you know a caliber, that's got the capabilities of, you know, big knockdown for big game, but also, you know, you want to go out and do some long range. Your 6.8 Western may be perfect for that. And guys, when you go out to a mile, your seven mag has got 1,041 feet per second at 400 foot pounds of energy. Your 300 wind mag, 1,020 feet per second or 439 foot pounds of energy. So about 30 more foot pounds of energy. And your 6.8 Western, 1,065 feet per second and about 415 uh, foot-pounds of energy. So all are relatively close. Uh, again, your 6.8 Western, even at this distance, is outperforming your 7 mag. So remember when we're looking at these numbers and, and the reason we picked 500, uh, again, most of you guys should be taking a shot, myself included, past 500 yards a game. Ron Spomer has a video there where he talks about taking down, I believe it was a deer at 777 yards uh, with the 6.8 Western. We look at some of those numbers at 700 yards, your 6.8 Western, according to the numbers uh, that we plugged in, was getting 1,652 foot-pounds of energy at 700 yards and about 1,462 foot-pounds, I'm sorry, about at 700 yards, 1,462 foot-pounds of energy and at 800 yards, 1,290 foot-pounds of energy. So between those two, Again, if you look at the, at deer, uh, deer, the, the number that most people use is 1,000 foot-pounds of energy. So clearly the 6.8 Western had enough terminal velocity at 777 yards, which was uh, between 1,650 and 1,400 foot-pounds of energy to take down a deer. Uh, elk would have been right at the end of its range. Elk, you know, you need about 1,500 foot-pounds of energy. That's the number most commonly thrown around. Uh, moose and grizzly bear, a little over 2,000 foot-pounds. Uh, foot pounds of energy. Uh, so if you look at each one of those calibers, now you're talking about about 400 yard shot with each of those. Uh, your seven mag, 212. Your 300 wind mag, 200, 2,241. And your 6.8 Western, 2,084. So 
Uh, about 400 yards is going to be about your range for all three of those, and maybe out to 500 yards for 300 wind mag because you still got 1,983 foot pounds of energy uh, at that distance. So, uh, again, when, even when you look at felt recoil, the felt recoil from the 7 mag is about 21 foot pounds, your 6.8 western is about 24, uh, your 300 wind mag is about 25. So, really, really similar between the three, and obviously, you got motor brakes and suppressors that you can put on, on, on each of these, but. Uh, at the end of the day, I wanted to put together a video where you could just compare the 7 mag and your 300 wind mag because forever the 30 out 6 was the, the standard, the bare standard. Uh, they obviously got passed up when you start having these other built in magnum cartridges come along. But your 300 wind mag and your 7 mag, very, very widely trusted uh, calibers. We use those all the time, all around the world. A lot of guided hunts. Uh, people are taking 300 wind mag, 7 mag, they trust it. And, but then when you go look at paper, the new kid on the block, uh, from a BC standpoint, an energy standpoint, a terminal velocity standpoint, it's right there with these guys and probably falls somewhere between the two, if we're being fair and just looking at the numbers. So uh, the, the bullet design is going to be uh, great uh, offering with the 6.8 Western. Remember, this was Brownie and Winchester's brainchild. Uh, and then you look at the 7 mag and your 300 wind mag. And these are tried and true legacy um, calibers. And obviously, your 6.8 Western, a new kit on the block, it's good enough to hang with these guys, if not surpass your 7 mag uh, at every distance, clear out to a mile. So, the goal of this video was to convince you guys 6.8 Western uh, was something everyone needed to run out and get, but it is a viable cartridge. We'll be doing more videos comparing the 6.8 Western with 30 out 6, um, 308, 6.5 Creed, more, and everything else. Right here, we'll put a link to our 6.8 Western playlist. If you haven't checked it out, go right now and check it out. Uh, we'll have more videos coming soon with the 6.8 Western and doing these comparisons. This was really, really fun. Crushed a lot of numbers today. Go down in the comments. Let me know what you guys think about the 6.8 Western. Is it viable? Is it not? Have you picked one up? Have you taken anything down with it? Give me your thoughts. Let me know what you think. I appreciate you guys checking out this video. We'll have more videos coming to you soon. Junior, out.